Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Are you looking for a color e-reader or e-note? Well, 2023 is gonna be the year where it finally goes from fringe to mainstream. Gallery 3 is gonna change the world. It's 300 PPI for color, and that's the same with black and white as well. Gallery 3 allows you to switch from color mode to black and white mode. This is something that Kaleido 3 or Kaleido Plus is unable to do given the limitations of the color filter array which projects color on the screen. Kaleido typically does 4,000 colors and roughly at about 100 ppi or so so it's a huge step up from 100 ppi which is we've seen on color e-notes and e-readers over the past couple of years to a whole new breed of new devices that are going to be coming out in 2023. the first one is the big me galley which we reported on and have a series of videos on our youtube channel you can check the card up there to look at that Pocketbook is going to be releasing the Viva. This isn't something that we've covered on our channel, but what's exciting about this device that has been officially announced is that it's going to be running Linux instead of Android. So it's going to be the only Gallery 3 e-reader, and this is an e-reader first, no notice taking functionality, and it's going to have color. So I believe that with Linux, it's easier to optimize uh, for all the different color modes than it is to do for Android. Android needs faster processors, more RAM, internal storage, just because of the fundamental nature of Android. Whereas with Linux and the Pocketbook Viva, this is kind of exciting because it's going to be faster and more robust. Ian issued a press release and they stated that a number of customers have placed orders for Gallery 3, including Onyx Books, iFlyTech, iReader, Readmu, and a couple of others. So it's going to be a lot of Gallery 3 devices that are going to be coming out soon. The Viva is going to be released sometime in the first couple months of 2023. Uh, the Big Me slash Goody Reader Galley, this is gonna be released in mid-January of 2023, so we're not gonna have to wait too long to have commercial devices in our hands to be able to show you guys what this is capable of. Of course, one thing that bears mentioning is that Gallery 3 is new technology, so there's a lot of things that manu manufacturers and OEMs and then the end companies have to do. They have really have to optimize the software experience. Gallery 3 fundamentally is sound. It's the screen technology. But getting it to work in conjunction with different operating systems, Linux, Android, it requires work. And that's very evident with the Big Me Galley, which if you've seen on our YouTube channels, uh, we've done three or four different videos to show iterations of how it's been improved. Initially, there was ghosting problems, solved. Um, there was a little bit of lag on coloring, solved. You know, it's like, it's, it's nice to kind of like see things from the inside track to give us a wider perspective on the challenges that other companies face to get new color e-paper jiving just right and being able to get it so it's a perfect experience for customers. So Gallery 3, it's going to really change everything. And I believe that in 2023, we're going to see a larger company get involved in these. Amazon with the Kindle, Barnes & Noble with a new Nook, Kobo with a new e-reader that's going to be coming out. Gallery 3's perfect blend between it could be used for dedicated e-notes and for dedicated e-readers. So far, E-Ink has optimized the Gallery 3 screens for 8-inch devices, which is why the, the Pocketbook Viva and the and the Big Me Galley are both 8-inch devices. I kind of have a feeling that the new Onyx books, the new iReader, the new iFlyTech will also have 8-inch screens because so far that's what's been optimized. But a 13.3-inch screen, 
a 10.3 inch screen, these aren't out of the questions. Ian could cut the screens during the manufacturing process for whatever people want. But right now it's been optimized for eight inch screens, which is why the first generation of Gallery 3 devices will all be eight inch screens. So I don't think much is gonna deviate from there until people work out all the bugs, you know? So Gallery 3, we're going to have these in our studios and in our hands sometime in the first three months of 2023. So things are looking bright for color. What do you think? Has color finally hit the prime time? Leave, drop a quick comment below. And for GiddyBeater.com, my name is Michael. Everybody take care. Mm -hmm.